Uh, witness number six, you. If where you can test something is reliable, why not believe it where you can't test it? What do I mean by that? Well, look, if, if where you can prove whether the Bible is true or not, and it does prove to be true, then why not believe it on the things that you can't prove it to be true or not? Let me try to illustrate it. Let's think about a dream. Imagine I had a dream. If I had a dream that you won a million pounds, and I come to you and I say, hey, look, look, I had a dream last night that you won a million pounds. Now, how do you know whether that's true? How do you know whether I'm lying or not lying, whether I've just made up this dream? Well, you know by testing me as a character. So, um, do I normally tell lies? Do I normally make up um, fantasies? And if I don't, why wouldn't you believe me on the thing that you can't test? And it's the same with the Bible. The Bible constantly claims to be the Word of God. When God speaks, should we ignore him? It contains information that actually we're going to disregard at our peril. Some of the things you just can't test, but where you can test it, we've seen that the Bible is true. For instance, there's information about God in the Bible. It tells us that he's holy and perfect, and it's utterly unthinkable that he's going to let any wrongdoing go unpunished. There's information about ourselves. Uh, we are made by God in his image. Uh, we're infinitely valuable, and yet we're sinners, as the Bible says. We do wrong. We're rebels. There's information in the Bible about Jesus Christ, that he's equally God, he's holy, but he reduced himself to a tiny little embryo to be born into this world uh, so that he could die on a cross to save us from our sin. There's information uh, in the Bible about the way to God. It's not, you know, turning over a new leaf or you know, New Year's resolutions, but actually a new life, a new start. It's not our attempts to be better or religious or to transform ourselves, but God will transform us. It's not a change in the point of view of our thinking, but a change of heart. You won't find this information anywhere else in the Bible. Now, where we've seen that you can prove the Bible to be true, why not believe it on these things as well? You know, one of the most frustrating things about being a Christian preacher is that people just will not read the Bible. They, they come out with all of the excuses for not reading it, and they just, just don't read it. And one of the things I want to do is, is to sort of say, look, if only you would read it, you would see that it is the Word of God. One old preacher used to demonstrate it this way. He used to use an illustration about a sword. He said, look, um, I don't need to prove to you that a sword is a sword. Um, you know, you could talk about where it was uh, tempered, where the steel comes from, and who made it. But actually, what you really want to do is to get the sword out of its sheath and poke you with it, and then you know it's a sword. And that's really what I want to do with the Bible. I want to say, look, just read it. It's, it is the Word of God and you'll find out when you read it. There's a story about a young girl um, who was at a fruit stall in Italy, and she was reading the Bible behind the fruit stall, and a, and a man asked her, um, you know, what was she reading with so much interest? And, and she said, I'm reading the Bible, I'm reading the Word of God. Now, this man was a skeptic, and he said, uh, who told you the Bible was the Word of God? And um, she was quite young, and she was fairly simple, and uh, all she could say was, God told me himself that it was the word of God. And the man was very scornful. He said, God told you, impossible. How did he tell you? Have you ever seen him or talked with him or heard some kind of audible voice? And for a few minutes, uh, the girl was you know, a bit confused and she was silent. And then she asked the man, who told you? there is a sun in the sky. He 
he sort of you know was a bit annoyed about this and said well, who told me i don't need anyone to tell me i can i i can feel its warmth i can enjoy its light and the girl answered you know i read the bible and as i do it warms my heart it gives me light i love its light only god could give the light and the warmth i get from this book you see witness number six is you but will you get up into the courtroom and stand in that dock will you read it the bible is god's word to you and i recommend that you read it and find out what he says